Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your August forecasts. Um, remember this is general, so you can watch this if you're a Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, um, or if you're dealing with a Scorpio Sun, Moon, or Rising. Um, so again, keep an open mind, it's a general reading, it's not going to apply to everyone or not in the same way. And, you know, take what resonates, disregard the rest. If you would like a private reading, the link is below. If you would like to join me on Patreon for additional um, readings and content, the link is below. And I am on holiday between the 13th to the 19th. Um, what that means is you can still order readings. I'm just going to get to them as soon as I come back. And I'm going to go through them in the order that I've received them, okay? So let's have a look at your month here, Scorpio. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the seven of wands so with the seven of wands is your overall energy this can talk about a particularly busy month or slightly challenging month um not necessarily challenging in the sense that you know you won't be able to cope but it's i feel that a lot will be happening and you'll feel like you're on your toes all the time okay whatever challenges arise whatever difficulties arise you will be able to get on top of them you're just going to have to strategize, come up with a plan. Um, and I also get a sense of you're going to have to uh, put down some rules or some boundaries, okay, um, with this energy to stand up for yourself, um, for what you want to do and what you don't want to do, okay? So in the current situation, so when you're watching this um, or as you're coming into the month, we have the Four of Pentacles. So with the Four of Pentacles, this talks about being in a position where you'd like things to stay the way they are okay whether that's in a relationship or with the job you'd like things to stay the way they are you may be anticipating a challenge or you may be anticipating a change and so you would just like them to stay the way they are with the four of pentacles um for others it's been challenging is what i'm getting and you would like for things to just stabilize. You'd like to know what's what, you'd like to know what you can count on or who you can count on, okay, with this Four of Pentacles. Um, your challenge, we have the Five of Swords. So with the Five of Swords, this is that change, this is that chaotic energy, this is that instability. Um, and with this, it's um, it could be the people around you that are particularly challenging or an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius that are particular, uh, particularly challenging. You may be dealing with situations or you may be in environments where um, you feel like you have to raise your voice to be heard or you have to you know, put your foot down, stand up for yourself because you feel challenged all the time uh, or you feel pressured uh, to conform or to do what someone else wants you to do, okay? To kind of blend in um, with this energy. This could be going on at work. Uh, or within your emotional relationships, whether that's romantic or otherwise. There's at least one person who's being a little bit impossible, uh, intentionally difficult, not willing to compromise, not willing to meet in the middle. They're creating a lot of disruption, okay? And that's why you're trying to stabilize things. You're trying to keep things calm and keep things um, grounded, okay? In the foundation, so we have bigger turmoil in the foundation, we have the tower. So the reason for why things are the way they are is a big, big change. Um, something that happened, it was without, um, it was, um, sorry, out of your control. Um, this is major arcana card. So it is something that was definitely unplanned and it threw you back a little bit. What I'm also getting with this is this happened the, happening in the environment and some way it benefited you. So what I'm getting is someone lost their job and they offered you the position. They didn't go through the selection process once again and maybe someone's not happy with that. Uh, or there was a shakeup in the company. And again, somehow you came out on top. Um, you got some benefit from that, okay? Again, through no fault of your own did this happen, but it benefited you and I feel that people are not happy with that. Um, the tower is also about revelation. So something was revealed to you and so almost like you're thinking, I want things to go back the way they were before I knew this. Uh, but with the tower, whatever the changes that you're dealing with, whatever this uproar, this uprising, this uh, uh, overturning is, it was meant to happen, okay? Um, 
because you were pretty much pushed out of this comfort zone that you were in and for some reason it was, it was meant to happen for you okay we're gonna have a, a look and uh, see what else we're getting with that but this could have been a disruption in the home disruption in the job disruption within a relationship okay because of some sort of a revelation and it's just created tension change chaos you'd like things to calm down and stabilize so in the past we have the eight of pentacles so this is something it could be around a new job or a promotion that you got or a bonus that you got um, or just some recognition and an opportunity that came with that as well something new was offered to you as a result of this disruption okay there was a new path there was a new beginning there was a new opportunity for you as a result of this um, chaotic situation um, and that's what this eight of pentacles is about okay this could also be a lot of tension stress maybe you were looking for a job and you weren't sure you're going to find one you did you're working on it and now you're just trying to stabilize things and come up with a rhythm where you know what's going on in the crowning thoughts position we have the justice card so the justice card is um for some this is just talking about the contract the documentation um that you're filling out that you're dealing with okay if this was about a new job a new position a new opportunity presented to you um that involves contracts and commitments for others this is a decision that needs to be made so things are unstable now uh, because of something being overturned you have to make a decision because you're going back and forth okay between i want things to stay the way they are but it looks like they're not going to so what am i going to do about this so there's a decision a decision there you need to make that may involve cutting something or someone out and for others, if this is a situation that's happened in your relationships, then with the justice card, um, you're considering uh, a breakup, a separation, a divorce. But you're trying to be fair. You're trying to make the right decision. Okay. In the near future, we have the Queen of Cups. So around mid-month with the Queen of Cups, um, I feel like this is you going within to think. Okay. This is you trying to decide what you want to do. Um, with the Queen of Cups, there is some sort of a peace offering or someone offering to make up something to you, make up for something, um, an apology, someone asking for forgiveness. I feel that you're looking at that and you're deciding, is that good enough? Okay, so for some, that's what's coming up. And maybe that's when you have the conversation of, okay, this needs to change. Um, for others of you, this is getting the offer. So with the Justice card on the mind is that contract, that job, that commitment. Um, it is coming your way around mid-month, okay? And this is just you looking very closely at it, looking at the details. Maybe you have to decide or sign by the end of uh, by the end of the month for some, or by mid-month for others. Um, with this energy here, this could also be therapy or counseling that you decide to go to um, by yourself or with your spouse or with the family member, or if this is in work, okay? But there is someone that you could be going to for help, to mediate, to negotiate. This is about a legal situation and this is what that is. It's a negotiation. It's the coming together of the parties and someone is acting on your behalf, speaking on your behalf to reach a good settlement for everyone, okay? In the position representing you, we do have the full, so you're ready to go, you're ready to move on. Whatever disruption happened, whatever revelation happened, um, it's given you freedom. It destabilized things um, in the moment but thinking about it, okay, um, again, you may have tried to keep things the way they were. That wasn't working. Uh, you may have tried to go back to the way things were, but you were unable to do that. Um, and now you accept, you know what, this is actually not a bad thing. So this is freeing yourself. This is moving on and moving forward. Brand new beginning. So it could be leaving a relationship, leaving a job, uh, leaving a toxic situation behind it could be that you know now the the if this is about a court situation a legal situation now it's finally being resolved and you feel free you feel like a burden is lifted off of your shoulders um this is also starting off in a new direction okay so it can be that new job that gives you this freedom it can be you walking away from a toxic relationship this gives you this freedom um you can be you know um 
whatever decision needs to be finalized, whatever the legal situation needs to be finalized, you have the freedom because of that, okay? In your environment, we have the Three of Cups. So with the Three of Cups, this is your friends, your family, uh, you're relying on them, you're spending time with them. Further, this is definitely just reasons to celebrate. So a decision going in your favor, the offer coming through, the opportunity being presented to you. This is an opportunity for growth. This is success, celebration, happiness, and growth, okay, with this Three of Cups. It could also be a new work environment, new friends, making new uh, connections, okay, attending some sort of social celebration or social event where you make new connections. Um, in your hopes and fears, we have the Page of Pentacles, so you're working very hard um, towards this new job um, or this offer that you hope comes your way. Um, the acceptance, whether or not you got into the school, whether or not you got into the program, whether or not your paperwork was accepted um, or approved, okay, you've been working very hard towards that and so that's where your hopes are. Um, and of course the hesitation has to do with, I've put a lot into this so I hope it works out, I hope it goes through okay. And the outcome we have the Nine of Wands. So with the Nine of Wands, whatever the situation is that's been stressing you out, um, I feel like with this, you're saying, okay, um, enough is enough. I feel like by the end of the month, someone might be trying to get back into your life that you are walking away from around mid-month. I feel they may be reaching out to you or asking for second chances. And with this energy, you're thinking, you know what, I have to be fair here, but I also have to be fair to myself. So I feel that by the end of the month, um, you're having a chance to revisit the decision you may have been making or you may be making uh, around the first or the second week of the month. Um, it will be up to you to decide what you want to do about this. But again, uh, be fair. Be honest with yourself. Be fair to yourself. Put your foot down. Draw that line in the sand. This is a, you know, don't take any prisoners, don't compromise type of card. Um, it is also a card to say you're now starting to recover, okay? The worst is behind you. So if August is an up and down kind of month, um, by the end of the month, things will calm down, okay? By the end of the month, you'll feel like, um, okay, I think I've survived this. I think I'm done with this now. I think, um, you know, I won't have to deal with this again um, with this energy. You're putting it behind you, okay? And you're moving on with a determination, your um, overall energy and guidance, we have the instinct card. So with the instinct card, this is about, for some, this is the solitary journey. This is you doing what's right for you, okay? You being on your own, thinking about what you want to do, figuring things out for yourself, deciding what is best for yourself. Um, this is the solitary journey, like I say. So for some, that means uh, literally walking away okay from a relationship from a job from a, an environment from a, a group of people okay walking away on your own because you no longer fit there it's no longer what you want to do it's no longer where you want to be okay um, and trust your instincts the instinct card here is to um, is telling you your instinct is correct your intuition is telling you the right things do not doubt it. Don't waste energy looking back once you decide to move forward. So I feel like that's why, you know, they were talking about um, revisiting this decision here, okay, uh, by the end of the month. They're just um, kind of letting you know, don't waste energy that you're supposed to be using to move forward. Don't waste that energy to look back, okay? So once you decide that's what you want to do, trust your own decisions. Trust that your instinct is correct. Trust that you do see the truth in the situation. Trust that you do have the clarity. Um, you see things for what they are and you're making the right choices for yourself, okay? This is also very much a card of guidance. So you will be supported through this. You will be helped through this. You have your friends, you have your family, you have your spirit guides. So prayer um, and meditation, affirmations okay they're going to be your best friends during this time um but it's about clarity truth and purity for you um, and again that means honesty being fair you being treated fairly and just getting to the truth of things 
breaking down illusion. That's what the month is about, okay? And it will give you the revelations that you uncover. They will give you freedom, okay? So it's a bit of a, an intense month, but with the Tower and the Justice card here, it's whatever's happening, it's meant to happen. And again, it's meant to happen to bring you freedom, all right? So uh, let me know. Let me know how the cards apply to you if they do. Let me know um, how you resonate with, with the reading if you do, what this is about for you. Um, but remember to watch your sun, your moon, and your rising sign readings. Thank you very much for all your support. Have a wonderful month ahead. Make the most of this um, freeing energy. And I'll speak to you again very, very soon. Bye for now.